This is Twit. NVIDIA is uh, in a kind of a convenient uh, calling for sovereign AI. This is uh, Benson, uh, Jensen Wong, the CEO, says every, and I, you know, I don't think he's wrong here. He was talking uh, in a discussion with the UAE's minister of AI. Now, see, there you go. The United Arab Emirate is, is really on top of things. They have a minister of AI. Omar. That could be your next career, Leo. You could be the minister of AI. I would like yeah, to be the minister of AI. Yeah, you could pivot to going to the UAE, where people yeah. really understand yes, the issues. Yes, they appreciate what so we're important. up to. <laughs> Omar. It's I, is it Al Olama or AI Olama? You know, it could Ooh. be either. Great question. During the World Government Summit in Dubai <laughs> uh, on Monday, Jensen Huang, the CEO of Nvidia, said every country should control its own AI infrastructure so it can protect its culture. He calls it sovereign AI. And, you know, that's not necessarily not sure a bad idea. I mean, otherwise, it becomes a, kind of a. Another one of those U.S. imposed. Well, what does it mean to control the infrastructure? I don't. Well, language is one, right? So yeah, but you don't need to control the infrastructure for that. You can have your own models. You run on all your own machines. Well, that's kind of what he means. You should have your own models. But and the reason I said it's self-serving is because Nvidia wants to sell Nvidia <laughs> to exactly. use to every country in the all world, around the world. Yeah. <laughs> so you really do need your own infrastructure. Uh, but 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 I don't think Jensen's wrong. He says uh, AI codifies your culture. Your society's intelligence, your common sense, your history, you own your own data. We completely subscribe to that vision, says AI Olama. That's why the UAE is moving aggressively on creating large language models and mobilizing compute. Interesting. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it seems like I they think... went on to say, uh, the first thing I would do, of course, is codify the language, the data of your culture into your own large language model. Uh, that's what he would do if he was the leader of a developing nation. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you. So, I mean, I guess agree? that's something you I, I, I don't I think, think that if I was the leader of a developing nation, I, my first priority would not be to codify the language and data of my culture into a large language model. Well, I think uh, my first priorities would be leading the developing nation. Well, that's true. And just, you know. Well, let's, let's, let's not just say developing. So uh, on, on AI inside. And UA, UAE is far from a developing nation there. Or they have a lot. That's of, true. They've they got money to lower. That's Dubai, uh, which doesn't have any oil, ironically. Uh, but their sister uh, emirate also has quite a bit of oil in Abu Dhabi. They have money. So, Paris, Norway is doing just that. Jason and I interviewed uh, uh, Sven Stormer Torlau, who is the chief data officer at Shipstead. And the country is, gang is, is, ba is ganging together, is, is joining together because they believe it's a national good to have a Norwegian language yeah. uh, AI model. Here. And so they're contributing their content to the training process rather than fighting over ah, what we do here. That's interesting. And they'll figure out what the what the commercial model is later. But right now they're trying to show how it works. And they're even, so all the almost all the digital publishers, as far as I know, are putting their stuff in. And the country is even looking and saying, if the books, 90% of the books in Norway have been digitized, if if that's useful to make a better model, if you can prove that in your research, then the government might consider paying for that. Did we not happen. learn with the internet? I mean, in the first decades of the internet, it quickly became an English language uh, thing. I mean, it, right. now now it's become much more international. I don't think that's a problem anymore. But I think maybe that's the thing that they're worried about is you don't want, you know... Uh, it's funny because the movie industry came out of Hollywood and very much spread American culture. But now there's Bollywood, there's there's movie industries all over the world reflecting their own cultures uh, accurately. International movies are a big deal. So maybe maybe it's nothing to worry about. Maybe the, maybe the time will come when AI will just be an international thing. So the last column I wrote at Time, Inc. when I was the editor of Entertainment Weekly for that brief moment in time... I praised Canada's national content uh, model. Oh, yeah. The CRTC says you have to have oh, a certain amount of Canadian content in all your The executives at Time Inc. went ballistic on me. How <laughs> could like I that. say that working at Time Warner? <laughs> you fool, you little <laughs> schmuck. And the column didn't run. That's wow. the last time I tried to write a column there. Wow. Aww. You're resisting our efforts to co-opt exactly. Canadian Rural culture. domination. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I mean, of course, it's a little self-serving for Jensen, but at the same time also, 
I think is a good point to be made. I mean, um, well, AI shouldn't be American, right? Or European. No. Well, it should be. It should reflect the cultures uh, it's in. Well, this is this is part of the open source debate as well, because if you have open source, if you, if Europe outlaws open source models, it's going to be regulatory capture of the yin yang. Right. And so you can build on top of things. And there's a French open source model is what is what Shipstead is using. Oh, interesting. Um, and uh, NVIDIA now has has uh, Sam Altman breathing down their necks, getting $7 trillion to build a competitor. Have you seen that? Wow, no. That's interesting. So Altman, Altman is out there trying to raise $7 trillion. Is that the world coin thing? Just too? some Related walk to that? and, you know, no, walking around money. Chips. Just yeah. chips. I, you know, I'd invest a trillion, but I, now that I'm unemployed, I kind of need my last trillion. So. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you've got to be conservative with your yeah. trillion. A trillion yeah. here, a trillion there. It adds up. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. Hope you enjoyed this little snippet from our show this week in Google for the full show. You can either go to our website, twit.tv slash twig, or find twig in your favorite podcast client. And of course, there's links right below somewhere down there for more information. 